should I face you or should I face the camera? Uh, we'll just have a casual conversation oh. like this. You can uh, look at me, no okay. problem. Yeah? yeah. Hey everyone, I am Salman and welcome to Salman Needs a Job. And today here I have with me Ishan. Uh, so Ishan Sharma, I was just telling my friend uh, right outside. I'm, we are at this event by Build Space, a Web3 event. And I was telling my friend, hey, uh, have you met Ishan? He's pretty big on YouTube. And he did not like that description. <laughs> just saying, uh, he's got 400,000 subscribers. and uh, But he's... He's very young, he's an entrepreneur, and he's accomplished uh, quite a lot. And he's got a very interesting project called, that he's working on called Market Up. So I just wanted to like uh, sit here with him and talk a little bit about that. How are you doing? Doing really well, bro. Really excited to like talk about all the things I'm working on. This event is the first that I have attended after I started my YouTube channel, started all my side hustles. So really when did you start your YouTube channel, by the way? It was started in uh, January 2020. In such a short time, you've made such an impact, right. like such a mark in your own life, which is very inspiring. Yeah, and obviously, through that, through that, all the other people that are listening to you, working on the content that you're doing. Please continue. Yeah, so basically, I started because I found out that in my college, I have some amazing people that I can talk to. And uh, a lot of people in India don't have the awareness. Like, they don't know how to maybe get a remote job. They don't know how to get a job without having a degree, for example. They don't know about projects that you can build that will help you get leverage in your career, how to start freelancing, for example. So I thought, why not like talk to these people, just like you're talking with me right now, and share this information with everyone out there. Because colleges, what they do is that you have to be a part of this unique club, IIT, BITS, Harvard, MIT, and only then you can get access to all the information, all the networks, connects and all. And so I thought if I can just take some of that and I can make that distributed, mm -hmm. decentralized, yeah. basically. So yeah, that was like basically that. the whole idea that I had of starting my YouTube channel. And I was not having much friends and I was not able to speak properly. So I thought it would be great to kind I want to ask you in this, like what, I feel like you have used it more than anything as a learning medium, mm -hmm. right? Because as you have these conversations, you're exploring so many different topics. If you were not having this YouTube channel, all this knowledge you would not have, yeah. right? And on top of that, uh, you said you're also working on your uh, speaking skills mm -hmm. through that. So what has been your learning like over the last couple of years uh, through launching this channel? I think I learned a lot about content and how to, how to hook people in, right? I learned about how to play with the YouTube algorithm, first of all. I learned about how to take this experience that I have, the learnings of how to hook people in, how to create great content. And I packaged it into what we call Market Up, right? So Market Up is a 15 people agency in which we work with brands and influencers and we help them grow on uh, Instagram as well as YouTube. So my co-founder, who is my roommate from my college, he specializes into Instagram management. For the past two, three years before we started, he has been working with uh, a lot of startups as an intern and helping them grow on Instagram. So he learned a lot about how to do campaigns, Instagram marketing, FB ads, and I specialize on YouTube. That's, that was what my experience was. So I thought, why not take this and offer this to a lot of uh, brands out there, startups that are recently funded, now, now they want to go grow. The problem was that I was getting offered jobs from all of these startups saying that, hey, come work with us full time and uh, we'll offer you a good package, and that'll be good for you. I thought it would be great if I can take this and if, and if I and I can basically get more people. I can get more clients, basically. So that's why I started Market Up instead of just me working with one client. Okay. And the companies, how do they benefit from it? Are you creating content from them, for them? Or like, how, how, does, how does the company leverage uh, a service uh, that is your uh, Market Up is providing? Yeah, yeah. So it, it, is, it is both, right? So for depending on what they, what they want, right? So some companies have their own co-founders, they have their founding team, and they are comfortable sharing and talking about things on camera. They can, they can record videos. So then our work starts once the video is recorded, once it is uploaded on Google Drive or wherever, and they share us the link. Okay, so okay. then they don't have to think about any, anything else. We help them with the content okay. plan, the content calendar we create, okay, understanding okay. what is the product, who is the audience, what is their age, what are their interests, and what type of content will suit with them. And then we create a calendar for them. That, okay, we have 20 videos to make this month. This is this will be how it will be done. We'll do a talk show, we'll do a, we'll do a podcast, we'll do a single person talking to the camera uh, mm. type video. And we'll create the strat strategy so for So you them. help them come up with the content as well. Yeah. And then, but your work personally starts once the file is on, into your exactly. Google Drive. So it depends. Basically, some of them just say that, hey, we're not comfortable talking to the camera. So get someone who can actually do that. So for them, we try to find out people from my own circle. I just hit them up saying that, hey, would you be interested in like recording videos for this brand? 
that's how it works but majorly we expect that they can record content somehow so once the file comes to you what yeah. happens after that so then we we basically assign a team to every single client that we have that that team first of all has a point of contact we have a person who edits the videos we have the thumbnail designer and uh, that's pretty much it the okay, poc so you guys are a youtube creator team for uh, companies yeah basically yeah okay okay interesting so i just want to talk about your under- how, how old are you by the way i'm 20 right now uh, sorry 20 20 you're very very young um so before you started this channel yeah. did you did you have any entrepreneurial like uh, adventures before like, as in so, how did entrepreneurship come to you you're very young <laughs> just watching uh, social network and a bunch of other uh, you know movies so you and reading inspired. books yeah i was i was reading this book called as the hard hard truth about hard truth yeah. hard truth about Hard is it things. by Anderson Horowitz? The hard thing about hard things, uh, okay. so something like yeah. that. <laughs> okay. yeah. By Andrew, by yeah, Ben Horowitz, basically. Ben Horowitz, yeah. So he talked about the hard things that yeah. happen in a startup. Okay. And it's not all glamoury. It's, it's a lot more about hands-on work, getting things done. So he talks about all the different aspects, like coming up with the idea, executing it, his own experience of building a startup in the 2000 era, the dot-com bubble. How did they recover? You know, firing people, firing teams. of people uh, hiring a ceo and all of that so all of that was really interesting i learned a lot from that book so your learnings have been through a reading and all that yes exactly yeah. i have learned a lot from uh, you know first of all the yc channel the y combinator channel that they have amazing place for people to learn about entrepreneurship and how to build businesses and then uh, they should also just like read books right it's for example ben horowitz is one person and then just like look at interesting people on twitter naval ravikant is amazing Chris Dixon, he's really great as well. So, yeah. okay. <laughs> Re- really inspired just talking to you. So finally, uh, yeah. the event is starting. Sure, uh, sure. Right, resuming right now. Uh, any involvement with Web three? Do you have any thoughts around what's happening in Web three and all that? I want to spread awareness about Web three in India, and I know that it is not going to be from you know two to three hour long tutorials in which someone is like explaining something really complicated. People don't really know about all of these things, so we need to start from the very basic stuff, and we need to make it fun, right? It has to be fun. So my channel, I came up with the idea of coming up with a list of videos about Web three. I've already done four videos on Web three, and many more about like crypto and how does it really work. Now I want to go deeper into this, make videos maybe about you know what is a smart contract, how does MetaMask work, right? DeFi and things like that. So I have a friend of mine and some other companies, so we're trying to like create some good content around that. Okay. My personal involvement in Web three, I have learned about Ethereum development and all that. I really enjoy just like exploring different things. I'm not, I am a developer, but I don't like work in a position as as a development. I'm more of a person who like talks about development. I think by creating content, you're helping the ecosystem. Exactly. Especially in Web three, I think uh, it is a huge contrib. There is a place for mm-hmm. podcasts and yeah. uh, creators and all that. Totally. Yeah. I, I I just messaged Farza, saying that hey man, loved your uh, your talk right here. Love to like. do a podcast together sometime so you said sure man whenever you want so that's basically how it happens i love i love that finally finally yeah. sorry mm-hmm. one more question uh, your uh, recent video where you revealed the income sources and all that mm-hmm. became i think it got became really viral yeah, right yeah, really there was a lot of i saw i saw some of that in, like other people sharing the, about that on twitter so what has the feedback been like can you just summarize summarize that uh, experience i wanted to like uh, spread awareness that yes you can be a content creator yes you can build a business and uh, you can do that and you can make well doing so right a lot of people didn't really like expect ki okay the amount would be this much or the they just had different expectations someone thought like i'm making 100, 100 crores so <laughs> people thought i was making like 5 lakhs something like that right so i just wanted to like talk about this ali abdar also did that i think that because a lot of my business works on youtube and it is because of the audience that i have it is important to be transparent with them right So that's what I do, and I want to do more of these every single year. I can just make a video talking about how much money I made. I want it to be more of a motivation kind of a thing, and understand that I have put in a lot of work into it. Imagine just sitting at one place or in one room and constantly thinking about creating videos. I made over four seventy videos on my channel, and that's when I'm here, right? Four seventy videos, working with brands, learning about content, how it works. watching tons of videos of mr beast explaining how to you know create great videos and implementing that experimenting with that playing with that that's how i got better with with content right it did not happen overnight i have spent tons of sleepless nights it is not uh, you know people call it self love and all that don't be too hard on yourself i have 
I have had my toxic times as well, but I love it because that's how I got here, right? And I would not want it any other way. So that's what I feel about it. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> yeah, great talking to you, and it is great meeting you. By the way, I'm Salman. Uh, check out Salman needs a job. I create content about jobs, uh, and uh, yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you. So See much. ya. <laughs> this was yeah. amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much.